Nem que estou ótimo, ó. Ah? É. Então, é. Então, é. Então, é. Então, é. Então, é. Então, é. T-S-W-A-T-C-H-A. I couldn't say that on my best day. The long, hot, dry summer has come to an end. In the month of October, 1.4 inches of precipitation will have fallen in the Sacramento Valley. November will bring an additional 4.3 inches. The parched earth will be rewarded. Local streams will be re-energized. Higher water levels in streams and rivers during fall, winter, and spring will allow adult salmon to return to their natal streams to spawn and renew the cycle of life. Salmon are part of a large family which also includes species of trout. Salmon, however, are andronomous. They are born in fresh water live most of their adult life in the Pacific Ocean, but must return to fresh water to reproduce. There are five major species of salmon. I met Petra Clayton, visiting our secret ravine walking trail here in Roseville. Petra is a nature walk coordinator in the Central Beach community of Los Osos, California. She volunteered an easy way to remember the five species of salmon. My name is Petra and I learned to remember the five kinds of salmon by the five fingers of my hand. The thumb stands for the chum salmon, the index finger because you can suck somebody in the eye with that, that is your sockeye salmon. The middle finger, since it's the longest tallest finger, is your king, so that's your king or schnook salmon. The ring finger um, stands for the silver salmon because you wear maybe a silver ring on that finger and your pinky um, makes you remember your pink salmon, the five salmons. <laughs> The Dry Creek Watershed lies about 100 miles upstream from San Francisco Bay. The Dry Creek Watershed is relatively small, only about 101 square miles, and is a subset of the much larger American River Basin. Within the watershed are the cities of Loomis, Rockland, and Roseville. The Chinook salmon are indigenous to the Dry Creek Watershed. After a two to five year odyssey in the Pacific Ocean, the Chinook salmon begin their journey home. To locate their birth streams, scientists believe the salmon use olfactory senses, hardwired at their birth, as their guide. Other salmon simply follow their peers, almost like explorers seeking new streams to fulfill their destiny. Descending from the Sierra Nevada foothills, small tributaries of the Sacramento River create a liquid highway permitting adult salmon access into California's interior valleys. Chinook are semelparious. They only spawn once in their lifetime. After spawning, the salmon will deteriorate in fresh water and rapidly die. In October 2011, the City of Roseville and the Dry Creek Conservancy in a joint effort completed work on a fish passage improvement project. Impediments on the river built in the early part of the 20th century were removed. The stream bed was improved with gravel ideal for spawning. Tree trunks and boulders were placed in strategic places, creating ideal pools. Finally, the project area was replanted with California native flora. Fall 2012. The restoration area has proven a success. 
Native California trees, shrubs, and grasses thrive. The new pools and gravel stream beds await the arrival of the fall 2012 salmon run. Each fall, the Dry Creek Conservancy conducts a one-day count of the number of spawning Chinook salmon within the Dry Creek watershed. Dave Baker from the Dry Creek Conservancy instructs volunteers on the task before them. And somebody's going to take their, you know, to uh, record the data. We want to find a tent. Got to stop. Volunteers and hip waders walk the streams recording the number of live salmon, carcasses, and salmon nests called reds. Lydia Sizelove, public works inspector for the city of Rockland, accompanied by her husband, Rich Sizelove, and DCC volunteer Ed Krause head upstream. The team is anxious to see if removal of stream impediments and riverbed improvements downstream has facilitated salmon spawning on the upper reaches of Secret Ravine. The team was excited to have found at least 20 salmon, one carcass, and one red. Besides salmon, the upper reaches of Dry Creek are alive with beavers and otters. Today was an exciting day. When all the volunteers' observations were tallied, there were 191 Chinook salmon sightings, 16 carcasses, 69 possible reds, 131 of the sightings of live salmon were found along Secret Ravine. Sadly, however, all is not well. Local residents have not respected the beauty of the river and its habitat. A female salmon may lay up to 3,000 eggs in each red. Typically, it takes 35 to 45 days from fertilization to eyed, when the eye is visible inside the egg. Another 18 to 20 days from eyed to hatch. Then an additional 14 to 21 days until the yolk sacs and the newly born fry are free to feed. A total of at least 67 days. The first week in December, major storms strike Northern California. Since only about 30 days have passed since the eggs were fertilized, the storm raises doubts about the success of this year's salmon run. Rich Sizelove explains what may have happened. Hi, my name is Rich Sizelove. Uh, I'm a volunteer for the city of Rockland. Uh, I uh, retired from the county of Sacramento. Uh, I used to be the uh, golf manager for the county. I'm now volunteering my time to help out uh, with the projects that we uh, had just recently done with the annual salmon count on the Dry Creek Parkway. Um, we're discussing, you know, the effects of what the uh, the storm that just uh, occurred uh, about uh, three or four days ago and how it, uh, the impact on uh, the salmon eggs that uh, we observed were being laid uh, during that annual salmon count. Um, part of the problem that we run into with the high waters like this is it does cause some scouring that will occur. Uh, mortality obviously is a question that we have to worry about that uh, uh, the eggs you know will they survive you know in the high water flows like that uh, usually on a normal basis without any real high flows the annual cycle continues uh, with uh, the salmon laying their eggs in the red 
uh, which is the nest that the female uh, digs out with her tail and the male comes along and fertilizes them. The eggs then fall down into the gravel. Uh, hopefully during this last storm that uh, some of the eggs were lodged in some of the larger gravel and it didn't get uh, washed downstream. If they did get washed downstream, there's a possibility they still could survive. Um, and then, like I say, the process starts again where the eggs uh, take about three to four months to hatch. Uh, they'll spend a, about a year sometimes in the fresh water before the, the small fry move down into the, uh, the estuaries, the, the brackish water, where they become accustomed to salt water before they move out into the ocean to start their life cycle, which usually can run anywhere from two to five years uh, before they migrate back up into the, the fresh water again to do the cycle all over again and spawn. Um, we're hoping that uh, the mortality this year on the on the the, uh, the creek is not going to be uh, affected you know, for the population of the upcoming two to four years, but uh, that will have to be seen by uh, the counts that uh, uh, are taken. You know, to some of the local hatcheries when they're uh, gathering fish for their uh, production, and um, like you say, the uh, the monitoring that they do out in the oceans and the populations that are out there. So um, we had a good year this year with salmon. Uh, the population was up. Uh, so we're hoping that we get another good, uh, uh, a good run uh, in the next uh, two to four years out of this population that just came up and spawned this year. Not knowing if the 2012 spawning season will result in diminished numbers of returning salmon in the years 2014 through 2017 underscores the need to improve water quality in our local streams. Clean streams create better survival rates. Habitat improvement can only be accomplished through a concerted community effort. The Dry Creek Conservancy is a nonprofit 501c3 corporation organized in 1996 to facilitate watershed conservation, restoration, and education in the watersheds of Dry Creek, Pleasant Grove Creek, Audburn Ravine Creek, Coon Creek and surrounding areas in Placer, Sutter, and Sacramento counties.